Brad, on the whole, fantastic night for the under-18s in the academy tonight. Yeah, fantastic night. Um, fundamentally, a, a great experience uh, for the boys. Um, played some fantastic football in the first half, uh, particularly after the first 10 minutes. Uh, we felt it was a little bit chaotic. Like I mentioned yesterday, it was we, we were expecting a, a, a frantic start. Um, but after we grew into the game, we scored just after that spell really where um, that sort of chaos then died uh, and we managed to find that calm head and, and um, played to the spaces that we predicted would be available on the night and, and the boys executed the game plan in that first half in particular really really well so we were really pleased with the first half performance in particular. Yeah as you said that first half it was pretty dominant wasn't it from the team and, yeah. and scored some great goals must have been a delight to watch from a coach's point of view. Yeah it was brilliant yeah like I said the, the boys were excellent in terms of their approach throughout um, the week in terms of the ideas and the, the spaces that we thought were going to be available and it, like I said a minute ago they, they executed them really really well um, but we understand that the game of football is random and there's going to be times where you have to adapt uh, and the boys did that did that really really well and they, uh, they showed real quality um, with the goals there are some fantastic crosses in the box um, that were allowed us to to go and finish them so we were really really pleased as a coaching group of staff to to see the boys perform like they did uh, second half though obviously Newport came back into it you know plenty to learn from though from from players point of view oh absolutely absolutely we, we spoke about half time about habits um, and um, what this competition gives us it was they're, they're gonna come out it's, it's not a league game 4-0 down there they're, they're gonna have to come out and, and give us something um, which they did they had a slight tweak which we didn't adapt to quite well enough um, and basic habits from sort of set pieces and you know the dark arts we could have gone down and stayed down but it, it's part of their experience and their learning which we'll, we'll reflect upon we'll, we'll look at the footage back and we'll, we'll talk through with the boys but they were a credit to how they performed mentally more than anything in those tough moments they kept going they kept going after the ball what we're asking them to do and they, they stuck to it uh, which was a credit to them and in, in the group yesterday we wanted an honest hard-working performance and, and I think the fans got that tonight yeah, I mean, the team obviously did enough to, to get themselves through to the next round. You know, the, the, the team and the club have good tradition in this, this competition. I'm sure that you want the boys to continue that in, in the FA Youth Cup. Absolutely, and I think it comes from them. They're, they're a hungry group. They want to develop as individuals and get to reach their potential uh, and get professional contracts, hopefully. Um, but whatever stage they end up at in terms of their long term, development I think they can look back on this this journey in the FA Youth Cup hopefully of a positive one they, they want to go as far as they can in the competition and I'm sure with um, hard work in mentality like they had show tonight um, will provide that there'll be some some strong, strong tests along the way if they do progress along the competition but they're, they're ready they're, they're up for it uh, and what does nights like this sort of provide them you know under the lights in the stadium in front of fans it's a bit different from their normal Saturday routine absolutely yes out of their comfort zone um, so great things happen out of the comfort zone so they're, they're experiencing some fans like you said under the lights a bit of pressure not from us as staff we've treated it like any other game um, but naturally they, they want to do really really well and they all their friends here, their family here, they treat it as, a, as an occasion for them, and rightly so. They, they should enjoy these experiences, um, which is why all the boys that are on loan and stuff, they come back for these games to experience it. Um, we feel it's a really valuable part of their, their journey and their learning um, to be able to do that, and this competition throws up games like that, which is, which is great for the fans, and hopefully if you're going to get entertainment like that, they, they come along next time and bring a mate with them. Yeah, I mean, Brad, you said it would be a bargain. We got seven goals, so not a bad way exactly. to uh, Spot on, eh? have the fans. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thanks, Brad. Uh, all the best and best of luck in the rest of the competition. Thank you very much.